They were at D. Picking in Bucyrus, Ohio. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, now you're you're oops, pick, I got a nap. Sorry. I'm a boy. You're Neff. You were a daughter of a pig. I'm a daughter of a pig. Okay. Okay. I'm a daughter of Robert. <laughs> we got one of your we got one of your buckets and man we love it. Well does keep on loving it. Out of the bottom drawer. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hi there. Yeah, you can take all those if you want. Hey here's Here's some of the buckets they make. We're going to be about 15 minutes and then they'll be gone. So. Okay. I'll let you get front, Chuck. Okay. She's trying to. You've not been through before, right? No, not really. Okay, I don't know if he went one of those two. Oh, well, um, this kind of shows you how they cut things out of flat copper. You'll see the big rolls back there. Then they dovetail them and put them together with uh, brax and water and brass shavings. Okay. And then they heat it and hammer it. And you can see the brass a little bit. Yeah. And then they put a ring in the top to hold the shape. Okay. And basically, that's how they do the kettles. Good. And on this, this is room one. Okay. And there's room two. Three is through that door. Four is clear on back. Four has an acid bath on your left, so if you don't touch it or get it, get it in four. Okay. That's an old cheese kettle. We used to make cheese kettles. Those were riveted around the bottom. You can see the row of rivets. rivets. Oh, yeah. Wow. But they don't make those anymore. And mostly, when people find them, they use them for bathtubs or fountains or something like that. Yeah. You make uh, symbols, right? Make drums. Kettle drums, kettle like drums. Kettle, kettle drums. Okay. Yeah, and then when they when they're done, well, they do all this downstairs. Upstairs is where they put the bales and rings in, and they drop them down through that trap door. And this is where they pack them and send them out. Wow. The only other thing we ask is that you don't touch anything when you go through because um, sometimes they polished them. Yeah. Oh, not oh yeah. Yet, and if you touch them, then when they put the lacquer on, they're Okay. Well, we'll just stay out of trouble. I like to watch guys work. Now, he's worse knows what like in it. Are you lacquering them or? Uh, I'm just getting ready to hand. Oh, okay. And grease all over. Okay. Yeah, I hear the hammer going back in the back here. Let's go back and see the hammer. Here's another hammer right here. How long has this been here? Been here since 1874. In 18, the store was extended in 1873, but
candy candle. Yeah. I don't touch don't touch this thing here. There's the rings. The handles for the So what are you making, handles? Yeah, I'm going to make skimmers and ladles. Skimmers and ladles, okay. <laughs> One kettle we got was signed by Mr. Picking when mm -hmm. he was 103. That was his last year. Yeah, he was 103. Wow. Yeah. So you guys got that. I think it was given to my father-in-law for retirement gift. He was 103. Nice. Yeah, this is a one of a kind machine. Before we got line shafts and pulley, it was turned by that. This is an iron bender. Wow. This is, there's none other like it nowhere. You feed it, feed your iron through. See our irons in 21 foot lengths. We cut it up. Oh, I see. Before the handles and stuff. And then that gives the top of the kettle strength and makes brown. Now, what you say, how old that motor up there? That's you said 1912. that's 1912. Yeah. And then what's that big pulley arrangement over well, there? Uh, work, it used to be a working elevator. A oh, elevator. oh, I see. There's a the floor. Is floor. Up to the see that up there, the ceiling. Yeah. That's where the floor is. Now we just we put a hatch in, and we just when we're done with stuff, we hand it down the hatch with the rope. I see. And then you can see there's a tree stump. There's a tree limb right there that they made a bench out of. Still has the bark on it. Wow. Still got all our stoves from 1912. Still use them. I got two stoves up here, and no matter what, it's cold in the winter time. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're still here. using that machine? Well, everything up here. Oh. All wow. those machines are 1912. They have they had crank handles. Yeah. And uh, the crank handles hang on the wall too. Before, uh, like I say, before electricity, everything was done with cranks and pulleys and turn. I yeah. see you got a pin up on the wall over there. Those have been there since before my time. Well, one dates back to 1913, 1914, it's a calendar. Oh. We've got ones that like 1891 calendar. I'll tell you, this building is a classic. Uh, we decided we would make it, you know, kind of come true to it. Yeah, I know. It's a lot more shiny. Yeah. It'll get wiped down and all that. So there, are those for regular people to buy, or are you making them for hotels and stuff? No, just regular people. Regular people? Huh? Do you own a hotel? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, we got one kettle that Mr. Pickens himself signed when he was under the hood. Oh, my. Okay, right and, before he uh, passed away right here. Yeah. That's all we have. But. Well, that's nice. That's a good one. Thank you guys, we appreciate it. The kettle my mother had, it was in, it's got 1874 when the company was formed, I guess. Signed by Robert B. Pickens. And he was 93 when he, I mean 103. Made to last.